Good morning, my name is Alan Friesen, YouTube username Alan the Friesen. Today I'm going to be going over essay structure, the first part of essay structure. Before we even get to writing an essay is the plan. And this is a two-part video. This is for my students at our school, but it's also for anybody else who wants to know how to take a question and turn it into an essay. I'm not feeling very well today, but this needs to get done. I've been putting it off for far too long, so sit back and enjoy. The first thing that you need to do before you even start writing the introduction, before you put your name on a piece of paper, before anything happens, is you need to come up with a plan. This is absolutely 100% essential. So the question that I've got on the board here, this was taken from an actual uh, Alberta education diploma exam for English 30-2. This was in June, June 2012. What is your opinion of the idea that our identity is shaped by difficult experiences? So English 30-2 students last year sat down for a standardized test. They had about an hour and a half to write on this question. They were given a planning page. For those of you who do not have a planning page or want to know how to do a planning page or want to figure out how to start planning, that's what this video is for. So before you attack this question, before you even talk about the argument, what you need to do, if you have a choice by your teacher, is you need to think about what kind of text you're going to use in order to examine this. So you look at the questions. We've got um, this, what is your opinion of the idea of that? It's a very standard question sort of format. The important bits though are identity, shaped, difficult experiences. So what you need to do is you need to start thinking about a text that you can use. For my students who are going to be writing their diploma exam next June, they're going to be studying a whole host of, of uh, short stories, novels, uh, there's a couple plays and films. So what they will need to do is they will need to think about, okay, this is the question, which of the texts that we've studied do I know the best, and which do I think is going to be the best that I can write out on this question? So difficult experiences, identity shaped. So what you need specifically for this question is you need to figure out a text in which there is somebody's identity that changes over the course of the text. It's shaped. And then it's got to be related to difficult experiences. So my students wrote on Gran Torino. Directed by Clint Eastwood. A good film that has the main character, Walt, with uh, difficult experiences and his identity changes over the course of the film. So then we move again to the second one, character. So we're going to be talking about Walt. Now I say one text, one character. Because if you choose more than that, if you choose to do two texts, or if you choose to do two or three characters, then your essay is not going to be as deep as it needs to be. So stick to one character, stick to one text, and you'll be fine. So let's think about Walt for a second. Walt was in the Korean War. Walt's wife died. Walt's friend, Sue, was attacked. His other friend, Tao, was also attacked. He was living in a neighborhood where he had to use a gun to defend himself. This sounds like a lot of difficult experiences. His identity is shaped, yes, so over the course of the film he starts off being a, ra a racist person, very angry and very bitter to somebody who is loving, who gives, him, gives up his life in order to save his friends. So we do have Walt here as a good character that we can talk to about, talk about for this topic. Argument. So now that you've got the text and the character, you need to come up with an argument. This isn't an argument. This is a prompt, this is a question. And in, in this case, the argument is as simple as Walt's identity is shaped by difficult experiences. That's it. Walt's identity is shaped by difficult experiences. This is a topic that can be argued. You can argue this. You can say his identity is changed. You can say that it's not changed. There are points on both sides. If you were to, if you were to come up with this and say, okay, well my argument is going to be Walt is a man. <coughs> Walt is a man. First of all, you can't argue that because it's true. It's patently true. There's nothing in the film that makes us assume otherwise. Also, Walt as a man doesn't have anything to do with difficult experiences or a shaping of identity. So even though that's a, a question, that's an that's a, that's a argument, it's a very weak argument. And it doesn't even come close to talking about this topic. So your argument, when you sit down and think about what you're going to write, you need to ensure that it's related to the question. 
So, we've got our argument, we've got our text, we've got our character. What we're going to do then is we're going to think about, okay, well, what kind of evidence in the film do we want to use in this essay? And at this point, you're going to pretty much write down everything. You're not going to think about the evidence at this point. You're not going to think about, okay, well, this is good, this is bad. Don't worry about that. All you're going to do is you're going to brainstorm any possible pieces of evidence in the text, in this case, in the film, that would work. So, Walt's wife dies. Uh, Walt has a bad relationship with, with Sue's grandmother. Walt fights in Korea. Sue is attacked. Tao is attacked. And then difficult experiences, I guess, Walt allows himself to be killed. So what we've done is we've brainstormed some difficult experiences that Walt's gone through. Now we need to go through this and we need to figure out, okay, well, in all of these things, does it help to shape Walt's identity? Are all of these good pieces of evidence? So you brainstorm first, then you decide whether the evidence is good or not. So Walt's wife dies, sure, we could go with that. That's a, it's a difficult experience. We could talk about how his identity is shaped. It's maybe not as good here as Sue's attacked, Tao's attacked, Walt allows himself to be killed. These are very strong. But that's something we could work with. His experience in Korea as well. I think that that definitely shapes his attitude. This one here, though, Walt has a bad relationship with Sue's grandmother. I don't know if I would consider that to be a really difficult experience beyond him being really annoyed with her. His, his identity is shaped. At the end of the film, he, uh, he gives his dog to her. But I, I would say that this is probably not a strong piece of argument. Of so that's fine. What we've done is we've come up with a list of evidence. We've decided, okay, well, which of these is the best, which is the worst. In this case, we take this one out. And this is what you should be doing, too, when you write essays, when you're planning your essays. Write down everything. And if you need to take things out in order to make sure that your essay is strong, then do that. It's better to have four pieces of awesome evidence than six pieces of evidence where some are great and some are not. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five things here. Five pieces of evidence. And then what you're going to do is you're going to rank or order evidence. So there's two different ways to do this. You can do this chronologically. Or you could do it um, in terms of importance. So chronological. This means from start to finish. So depending on the text, depending on the film, it could be that you're ordering it from the very first event in the film to the very last event in the film. In Gran Torino, if we were to do that, then we would put Korea somewhere towards the end. See, that doesn't really make sense. Walt describes his time in Korea to Tao towards the end of the film, three quarters of the way through. But chronologically, when it happens to Walt, it's actually at the very, very beginning. It's the very first piece of evidence. And since we're talking about Walt developing as a character, it's probably best to discuss that first. So chronological, either from start to finish in terms of the text, or start to finish in terms of the events that happen to the characters in the film. Another way to do it is by importance. You could group together your, your pieces of evidence in terms of what's the most important to the very least important. Or you can do least to most. There's different ways of doing this. What I would suggest is until you get uh, to be a stronger essay writer, is you start with chronological, and then you can worry about the more complex structures later. If you're in my 30-1 class, you know that we've talked about ordering it so that uh, we, were, we were talking about an essay on Molly in Neuromancer, and we would ordered it according to... It was a very, it was a very interlocking structure. And I don't remember how we did it. So, ask me later if you're in 
So let's see here. Korea's first, and then Walt's wife dies second, and then Tao is attacked and beaten up third, Sue is attacked fourth, and then he kills himself fifth. So that should be the order of your argument. That should be the order of your essay. One, two, three, four, five. Especially since we're talking about identity shaped. Here he starts off as a very grouchy, crotchety man. He's very upset. He's very angry. He goes and he attacks one of the members of the Hmong gang at this point. But by the end, he is willing to give up his life. His identity has changed from somebody who's racist and angry and upset to somebody who's willing to let himself die in order for his friends to have a better life. So once you've got this, once you've got this plan, then you're ready to write. So stay tuned for part two of this lecture in which we talk about essay structure, the writing. Thank you very much.